I think he's earned the respect of the players, which is a big deal in Milwaukee, and I certainly expect it in Los Angeles. He's unafraid to challenge, yep. which I think is a, a big key and a component here. He has the experience of having been there, which is something that I think veterans respect mm. a lot. So all of those factors, I think that the stars are aligning here for Darvin Ham. I do want to get a front office perspective on Ham's situation, though, as the Lakers' new head coach. So bringing back in our Bobby Marks here. Bobby, the Lakers' front office obviously in charge of putting together their roster. The sheer number of roster spots that are open makes this Lakers situation especially unique. So what are the top items on Darvin Ham's to-do list, so to speak? Well, I think there's two things, Malika, and I think Chanae hit it on the head. I mean, there's got to be buy-in from their veterans, whether it be Anthony Davis playing the center position or Russell Westbrook changing um, how he plays offensively, and even a player like LeBron, you know, as far as maybe from a maintenance program uh, with regards to his body. Remember, LeBron's got a year, Russell Westbrook has a year, and Anthony Davis has three years. Darvin Ham has a four-year contract. So the likelihood is that he's going to be there longer than those three players. And then the second thing is he has to have a seat at the table when it's regards to personnel moves here. Hmm. The Lakers have eight roster spots open. Um, he's got to be the guy who's picking the players, not Rob Palinka in that front office, as far as who he is going to coach. Um, but that's where it comes down to as far as the head coach. Buy-in from your veterans and, and as well as a seat at the table when it comes to personnel. So that's some of the things on his to-do list. Bobby, thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.